what's going on everybody as always it's a blessing to be here you're here with crypto e and if you guys are ready to eat in these crypto markets then subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time i drop information packed videos just like the one you're watching right now but that being said guys shout out to everyone that has subscribed so far and for the new subscribers that have just rolled in thank you guys so much god bless you guys the next goal is to hit a thousand subscribers we have already blasted through 500 the last time i've seen it but that being said guys i put you on on information in the crypto markets in the stock and in the forex markets so you can make the final decision for yourself i'm not a financial advisor i just put you guys in the game that i'm in so you can make the best gains of your life the reason i made this channel is to change people's life from their current financial situation and to put them in a better place but at the end of the day guys you make the final decision i'm not there pulling your fingers or pulling strings on you i'm just here to give you guys the facts and the truth you make the final decision but that being said guys all of you guys that have subscribed thank you if you guys are new hit that subscription with the bell notification so you can be notified guys but today's video will be on ripple versus sec case and how the sec's dirty secrets are being revealed every single day by that being said, let's get straight into this video after the beautiful intro. 4X, 4X, everything gets 4X. <laughs> so first things first, as always, we're taking a look at the whole cryptocurrency market cap in general sitting at a whopping one trillion eight hundred forty nine billion dollars 24 hour volume went up a little bit at 84 billion dollars bitcoin dominance ethereum dominance hovering the same ethereum gas fees 68 guai you already know we're skipping that part but first we're going to our favorite cryptocurrency in the whole cryptocurrency market number six xrp it's currently at 78 cents the price is rigged but we just keep talking about it so i can tell you guys where the current price is at for the 24 hour period it's down 4.16 percent as you just seen it just changed and the seven day period is down 3.13 percent overall market cap is at 37 billion so we lost around 2.3 billion dollars because it was around 40 billion and the 2.9 billion dollars for the 24 hour volume so let's just get into it right now so james k Fillin tweeted saying sec government versus ripple case how xrp chris larson Files letter in which he states Ripple and Mr. Larson do not oppose unsealing the legal memo in their entirety. And let's go down and keep seeing what XRP Crypto Wolf said. Ripple and their top executives have nothing to hide. That's completely true. That's why they're always presenting everything. That's why before they even got sued, they asked SEC to make sure that they're on the right standing way before around 2015, 2016. And I believe it's around, yeah, around that time period, maybe around even no later than 2018, though. They asked them, are we doing everything correctly? But they didn't get a reply. But, you know, if you don't get a reply. It could be a good thing. If you get a reply, it could be a good thing as well. But they didn't let them know what they're doing is wrong. That's the same thing I posted in the previous video that Ethereum was doing. And, you know, they just let them slide. It's the Ethereum gate. And I'll show you guys what's going on with the Tesla thing as well. But XRP Crypto was saying that XRP had nothing to hide. Unlike the SEC who don't want any of their Ethereum and XRP documents to be revealed. And that's exactly what's going on in this Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. Is that they're really trying to hide their part. That's why they keep delaying the case, delaying the case, and not trying to give away what they have been talking about. As we move on to the second thing, Jeremy Hogan said, look, <laughs> I have to get my kids to sleep. Don't forget that the SEC's motion for reconsideration of Judge Netburn's DPP ruling is due today. It's currently midnight. So again, if you guys are in the morning time, good morning. If you guys are in the midway, good afternoon. If you guys are night time, well, good night, but you better stay up to watch this video. Anyways, I'm just giving you guys updated. In federal court, you have until midnight. So that's 3.5 hours ago. That's what he tweeted, but it's currently midnight. So we'll see what's going on with the case. And if they don't file it, come wake me up, he said. But, you know, XRP Crypto Wolf said, post your wife's number. And it was just a joke. But anyways, when we come down here, we said, what will happen if they will not file? Nothing, another delay, or Ripple lawsuit automatically wins. And Jeremy Hogan stated that if they don't file, the adverse DPP ruling stays in place. And the SEC has to provide those documents to Ripple. 
And that's exactly what will happen. Again, thanks to Jeremy Hogan for always, you know, giving us the core understanding of what will happen before they even come out and tell us what's really happening. So again, over here, he said, I'm reading it, but can't quite believe it. Now, the speech wasn't Hinman's personal opinion at all, but intended to convey the Department of Corporate Finance position on all digital assets. Is that what's really going on? In the legal world, this is as crazy as it gets. The Ripple lawyers must be chomping at the bit. And let's read what's really going on because this is basically intended when Director Hinman gave the speech that he was given it to convey the whole Department of Corporate Finance position on the digital assets and not his opinion. So as we read, it says, as reflected in this text, the speech was intended to communicate the general approach used by corporate finance in evaluating whether digital assets offering may be considered security offerings and to invite the market to communicate with corporate finance staff about these issues. Continuing on, pay attention. Director Hinman began to speech by noting that the conference, quote, provided a great opportunity to address a topic that is the subject of considerable debate in the press and in the crypto community, whether a digital asset offered as a security can over time become something other than a security, end quote. Example at a one, in addressing the topics, Director Hinman stated that he was providing a framework of, quote, again, some of the factors to consider in assessing whether a digital asset is offered as an investment contract and is thus security, end quote. And that's how it went on to, come, to continue with the speech. But guys, take a look at this and you're telling me that if the SEC is not pressing, you know, their last bit of hope to keep confusing the public and provide them lies, then I don't understand what you're thinking. I don't understand where your headspace is at. Because they keep on lying, they keep on lying, and they try to keep hiding it. They keep try to keep suppressing it, but the truth always reveals itself. And take a look at this. We're all fed up with this. How close humanity is to understanding that the government are organized criminals. This just goes to show you that this is completely true. You may agree with it, you may not, but this is just how I see it because it's a complete, complete criminal activity that they're doing. And it's crazy. It's a complete criminal, criminal activity that's going on. And with these criminals, they are shafting all of us. They're literally shafting all of us. And the only people that are escaping from this criminal activity that the government is conspiring to do with the SEC lawsuit against Ripple. For those of us that are paying attention to the case and for those of us that understand how the world revolves around money and how money manipulates people and places, politics and everything else, which I'm really not trying to dive into. I'm just trying to give you guys a whole understanding. You will truly see how the government works and they are truly an organized criminal. They're really trying to shaft us and it's crazy. But there's another thing I want to show you guys as well. Take a look at this. SEC failed to distribute to Tesla investors. Man, it makes me sick when I see things like this because what is the SEC? The Curious and Exchange Commission that are trying to help out the little investors, but they're actually helping out the biggest, biggest investors, the bankers, and they don't give a damn about nobody, man. So just pay attention. To Tesla investors, which they were supposed to distribute, they failed 40 million in cash penalties they had collected as part of a settlement over Musk. Now infamous August 7, 2018's tweet that Elon Musk, you know, they said he was basically tweeting and doing something with the markets and blah 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 but he got sued for it but hey the 40 million has definitely gone rogue where has that money disappeared to they're supposed to be given to the investors and this is just another case let me retweet this because i want to get the word out guys but this is just another case of how the sec manipulates the markets and let me just play you guys a quick clip just to give you guys a better understanding again of the regulations that are coming in place and to prepare you guys this video is a little bit over 10 minutes but i want to fully make sure you guys understand again if you guys are new to this channel subscribe to this channel so you can understand what's going on but let me just quickly play this video for you guys you see biden to issue executive order on regulating crypto next week so just pay attention hold your bags and i'm just here to provide you guys the news but let me just play it good afternoon brian that's right president biden that's to issue a wide-ranging executive order on regulating cryptocurrency next week the president will direct agencies across the government to study cryptocurrencies as well as a central bank digital currency and come up with a wide ranging government strategy to regulate digital assets. You hear that? Man, let me just end this on this note. 
this is exactly what's going on and he is trying to regulate crypto but what's really going on behind the scenes he may not even understand it who knows guys maybe he's even a part of it but i want to let the ripple xrp community know and understand that this whole lawsuit is a joke they don't want the little investors in just like i tweeted and posted they don't want us in man it's just simple as that and if you want to change your life i suggest you guys get this crypto but i'm not a financial advisor do not quote me on this i'm just providing you guys with the best news and best source of way how i can provide it and i'm just giving you guys the investments that i'm in so you can make the same profits and gains as well this whole channel is basically based on to make your financial standing better than you came into watching this channel with that being said guys god bless you guys i'll see you guys on the next video stay strong this is crypto e with ul exchange subscribe to this channel share the video share the video share the video share the video so everybody can see and understand how the government works and they can change their life as well i'll see you guys on the next video god bless peace out